part of the, the, the recent work that Microsoft have done over the last couple of versions of Word is, is really move towards a, an, an open uh, and, and standardized uh, file format. Uh, that's called Office Open XML. It's currently an international standard, uh, standardized by ECMA, the European Computer Manufacturers Association. And so that's obviously the default format for Word 2007. Um, but it's used by a number of other products as well. And so what we've done is we've said, let's grab that. It's just XML. Well, actually, it's XML inside a zip file. Um, let's grab that and let's build a Silverlight app that lets us actually show it uh, and show that document inside a web browser without having to have Office or anything else installed. So Windows, uh -huh. so Macintosh, uh -huh. um, and we're obviously working really closely with the Moonlight guys, the, the Novell guys, uh, to try and make sure we can touch off Linux as well. So right. you know, we're really, really quite excited about the fact that we can now use sort of our .NET programming talents uh -huh. uh, to touch uh, all three of those platforms. You don't need you don't need you don't need a Microsoft license whatsoever. Okay. Right. You could have your Macintosh. Uh -huh. uh, you've got the Silverlight plugin installed running inside of Safari. Uh -huh. Right. And literally, you can pull this application up and view that Office Open XML uh -huh. uh, word processing document uh -huh. uh, via inside the web browser. Silverlight pulls down the docx file. Now, docx is as a as as a it's a package document under a thing called the Open Packaging Specification. That's just a zip file, mm -hmm. right? So Silverlight unzips the file, uh -huh. um, and then it takes out the, the Office Open XML content, the word processing markup language content, and then we use link, so we use link to XML, so we right. put the link provider across the top of that, uh, that XML document. Um, and what that lets us do is, is really easily run through and, and efficiently, because we're talking about large XML documents here, so easily and efficiently run through and parse out uh, the various elements out of our XML, and then we can obviously uh, render that out to the screen. Um, so, so literally, we're, we're running here inside uh, Firefox, okay, uh, but on, on Vista, so it's right. Firefox on Vista. We've got uh -huh. a couple of sample docs here. If people want to have a look at this, they can jump up to www.textglow.net. So T-E-X-T-G-L-O-W.net. That's the one, Tim. And, and this is live now? This is live okay. now. It's okay. hot. They can, they can go and grab it. Great. Um, and so we've got a couple of documents here. Uh, we thought the, the best way to... To sort of show this off would be literally let's just host our press release uh -huh. document uh -huh. uh, inside the application. Right. Um, so that's what we've done, um, and literally we can jump between the pages here. Oh, Obviously, like we, that. We, we we've taken it, it's Silverlight, Tim. So we've taken an awfully gratuitous sort of <laughs> 3D approach. We we thought we could actually do a full motion video on a spinning sphere. Um, so so what we'll what we'll do here is if we jump in. So this is us showing off another document. Obviously, okay. you'll see we support a uh, mixture of fonts. So uh -huh. Silverlight 2 obviously makes it a whole lot easier than Silverlight 1. Right. Uh, fonts are always going to be a bit of a yes. problem for us. Uh, we still do have a limited subset of fonts, uh -huh. but we cover off most of the ones that we're commonly going to expect to see. Obviously, we do images, lists, indented lists, uh -huh. tables. Do you have any um, kind of zooming on the... Uh, so, 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 so no zooming yet. Okay. Uh, we, we're still thinking about how we're going to deal with zooming. <laughs> Um, we obviously we have links, uh, images, alignment, yeah. uh, all of those sorts of things. I mean, to be honest, the, the, the Silverlight bit's the hard bit of this. Uh -huh. uh, you know, the Office Open XML is, is quite nice. It's it's relatively mature. Right. Uh, it's well documented. Yeah. Um, yeah.